In 2013, we introduced the industry's first return on investment calculator. And now we're proud to unveil Economics ROI Calculator version 2.0. It's the industry's first to integrate spatial variation into the model, which is a better reflection of what you experience at the field scale. When you do the math, you'll find that when you're operating on fields that are deficient in potassium, you can net a better return at the end of the year by investing in potash, even when commodity prices are low. The key to version 2.0 is it integrates spatial variation from field scale agriculture. Unlike historical ROI calculators that are based solely upon small plot research, here's why that's an important distinction. When we conduct small plot experimentation, it's very easy to manage nutrient inputs uniformly across that experimental area. That is not how it functions at the farm scale. It would be highly unlikely to achieve that level of uniformity. For example, consider the size of the combines that we're now operating with within production agriculture. You're combining from a very large area, but then the residue that you're returning back to that soil is very, very concentrated. That's creating areas of high nutrient availability, specifically for potassium, and areas of low. And it's in those low areas that we're concerned because you could be losing out on yield. To illustrate this point, let's look at an Iowa cornfield of 350 acres with an average soil test potassium level of 165 part per million. That 165 number that's returned to you is made up of a lot of different numbers. Some are gonna be below the critical level, some are gonna be above. That's what we mean by spatial variation. So built into this new calculator is a model that estimates the distribution of the lows and the highs and how much K is needed to ensure that we fertilize that area adequately so that we maximize our yield and our economic return. So let's run through a scenario to see how this works. For this example, we're gonna go with corn, potassium, we'll choose the state of Iowa, an average soil test level of 125 to 150 part per million. We'll go with the average farm size in Iowa, which is 350 acres, assuming yield potential of 220 bushels per acre. We'll go with 0060 as our fertilizer input at a cost of $300 per ton and a corn price of $3.75. We're gonna allow the default university recommendation rate and then we're gonna hit calculate. You can see you can increase your net return by an average of $22,400 if you add 133 pounds of potash per acre because it will increase your yield by an average of 22 bushels per acre. To test out Economics ROI Calculator version 2.0, head to the ROI tool section of the website and enter your state, acreage, and what you're planting to see if an investment in potassium fertilizer can boost your yields and your bottom line, because chances are it will.